Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to One Chan Barra Bikini Zombie Slayer by Scott the Waz. Now, I have not seen this, I have not even heard of that game, and I'm guessing this video is just going to be making fun of that game in particular because, I mean, it's kind of got a funny name. It, it, it's kind of, kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, anyways guys, I have no idea what's in store for this video. But, at, you know, as a reaction channel, I will still react to it anyways. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, reaching to the description, make sure to Scott the Waz thing. So, so, let's just get right into it. Hey, y'all, Scott here. Happy Sweetest Day weekend! Sweetest Day is a celebration of having a second day to rub into the face of virginity. Think what? of it as an Ohioan variation of Valentine's oh. Day. But in October, if you already thought October was scary, try mating. Apparently, it's only oh, okay. in the Great Lakes region. Well, here I am in Lake Erie. I count, bitch. So let's celebrate <laughs> a pointless retread of an already is that like pointless a five, holiday. Is that like a five I mean, lakes joke? Analogy, it's like cleaning your bathtub. Well, for a holiday all about love and affection, I think I'll dabble in being lonely and horny. Question, have you uh -huh. ever been so horny that you bought Relatable. Oni Chambra. Dude! Oh, that's how this you say it. This is so sexy! Oni Chamber is a series of hack and slash what? games that prides itself on being one of those games. Listen, I don't just not understand it. Yeah. I respect it. You know, I mean, I've heard you about can this tell by the name. a ton, and it's obvious why. It's pretty much been dormant in North America outside of just a few localizations. And it started on the PlayStation 2, the first game titled Simple 2000 Series, Volume 61, The Oni Chamber. Well, yes, I do know why it's called that. All true video game fans know it, and I do too. It's simple, understandable, it's practically overstandable. It was a series of budget games released by D3 Publisher in Japan. Now that first game oh. did make it to Europe under the title Zombie Zone. Where's my passport? The series has had a more consistent track record getting released in Europe compared to here. Anything you want to say. The first one we <laughs> got was on the Xbox <laughs> okay, 360 titled Onichambra Bikini Samurai Squad, which got a sequel on Wii, Onichambra Bikini oh. Zombie Slayers. I mean, it makes sense. They released the same day. You know, for its localization, oh. they really changed things up and removed it. That, name. yeah, that, that oh, oh that's America. not a good what thing. What did we change about this image? Too many left. Letters. Both got pretty <laughs> poor reviews. Surprisingly, the Wii one did a bit better. I saw this on a few worst of 2009 lists for the Wii specifically, which made it hard for my mom to buy me the game. I don't know. GameSpot gave it a three. Oh. But the series is still going strong with consistent enough worldwide releases like Onichambra Z2 Chaos on PS4. And, you know, for pre ordering okay, games, so there's like a the series with this? Strawberry Banana Surprise. Can I so, show you? Yeah, it's not like I can show the disc, damn it. I've been on a role playing some of the worst games of all time. I beat Ride to Hell Retro. So what's only job oh. for the Wii gonna do to me? That. I wish there was an incognito mode. Warning, this game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. But just the right amount of punch! Well, here we are. If we stay on the side of the long enough, a video Dude, plays. Dude, okay, that's actually We funny. tolerated this quality in 09? You think this 120p video is enough to turn me on? Well, lucky you, I have a slow metabolism. Let's f***ing do this! Look at all these settings. Dude. We can change the blood color. Oh, this game is so oh. sexy! We can choose between Aya and Saki. Let's pick her. And Jesus Christ, the time starts before you even jump in! Oh, f I gotta get started! We get some background in the form of a credit <gasps> scroll with a static Oh my god, that's... <laughs> okay, I get the joke, These yeah. are real beings. Like, think about this. These people have social security numbers. They didn't spring on the English voice okay. acting, but that's okay. They made sure to make up for it with five minutes of mute credit scroll. It'll take a lot for that to go down. <laughs> on to the gameplay, in which okay, we funny. have to waggle the Wii remote and nunchuck to attack. Oh, no! Oh, no. Anybody that automatically oh, dismisses motion controls, all things motion yeah. control... You're a coward, all right? Motion control is one of the biggest core innovations in video games within the past 20 years. The problem is, this is the main thing people think it's all about. Now, would it oh. be better if the tax were handled yeah, by true, funds? I yes, guess. but... This works okay. True. It's fairly responsive, and my arms didn't get tired like I thought they would. Um, Wait, what the hell? Physics, I'm not course. horny, I'm just satisfied. That is until randomly, I, I can't kill the enemies anymore. I don't know what's going on. Turns out, the more you kill, the more blood you have to wipe off your sword, and if it gets to be too much, it won't work. In what world oh. does the amount of blood on a blade affect its stabbing ability? Try again. It's weird because you can always wipe the blood <laughs> off the blade. That's These so, two, yeah, that's what? You can wipe it off it's when the blood true. level is full, so it's not like, oh, you messed up. Game over. If your sword is filled with blood, it's just like, just wipe it off. No big deal. So it's not annoying. It's just more so like, why is this mechanic yeah, here? Yeah, what? So this first chapter takes me roughly 15 minutes to get through. At chapter two, like a minute and a half or so, we go from a graveyard to some churchy vibes, a hospital station square. 
Dude! Sonic Adventure was the first 3D Sonic game because people can't count. This yeah, is what? the GameCube version. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, which I always thought was a fun Wait, pun. Wait, why are you we know, talking about Sonic? Director X Cut. That was the only form of joy I got from this game for years. Station Square is sort of our hub world. Oh. An excuse to stop playing Oni Chamber. Oh. It's one of the few things it's really good at. Okay, fine. We'll go back to playing... Diet sex. My god, this game is <laughs> far tamer than True. you'd imagine. The zombie slayers are in bikinis, so congratulations, your title's a checklist. The gameplay isn't yeah, really true. special by any means, it's just a just button like masher. Just uh, like my thumb, like my titles. Fucker. It's just a poor man's bayonetta for when you want to see half-naked women. Just get to the end of each state, slaying all the zombies, and that's it. And if you play as a different character, you get different scenarios in the same environments we've already played in, but oh. I'll give them that. Variety is the spice of life, and so are ass cracks, so this game has it all. However, on the gameplay and horniness front, it falls a little flat. I can't lie to everybody, you notice. The gameplay is serviceable, but repetitive and uninteresting. The horniness? My god, man, I've gotten more juiced up eating bread. Oh. Which isn't much of an <laughs> but for a game like this, I'm expecting sheer absurdity, oh surprisingly good gameplay, both, or just a flat out bad game. Game. This gave me none of that. Which is why, concerning the holiday, I'm about to give you five better games to replace the act of mating. First up, at number five, Bart Simpson Fun Pack. Number four, Mario Plus Rabbids Game Battle. That is a you good game, though. sex instead of playing that game. Number three, going to Bass Pro Shop. Can you tell True. I'm single? Number two, Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular. Also True. known as Donald Duck. And True. And number one... Rats for Game Boy Color. Oh my god. Hey, sorry, I, I got it covered by my freaking It wasn't surprisingly thing. good. It wasn't memorably bad. It wasn't even sexy enough. It just left me feeling empty on Sweetest Day, which who could have expected that? Uh, now what? Yeah. Want to go to Bass Pro Shop? This yes. is Bass Pro Shop. Your one stop oh my shop God. making up for not getting a shit about Oni Chambra. Is why they're still in business. You think it's all about fishing and hunting, but no, they sell all kinds of things here, like magazines. Bugs, salt, and guns are my three favorite things. Put them all together, it's all over. There's so much damn food here. Fish fryers, hot sauce, Bass oh. Pro Shop, soup, socks. I've actually never been to Bass Pro Shop. Wool socks, to be exact. Hell, Just kidding. I've been to pies. I'm a country boy, damn it. Look at the ambiance. This puts me in the perfect mindset. Of that's right, I do want to fucking kill those things. The Cabela's action play set. If you want to use your yeah, imagination, Yeah, also we're extending the run time Anything just by talking about Bass Pro Shop, possible. which is funny. So here's my like... Bass Pro Shop haul. Uh, first up, I bought yeah. bear spray. Uh, helps it's like, you we gotta get the video you. to eight minutes. Or you could just shoot it. Fruit roll-up trays. Uh, I love the candy. Ground meat freezer bags. Uh, bear bell. Uh, attach to belt or pack when hiking, camping, or fishing in bear country. Uh, I guess it makes it easier for a bear to find you. Hot sauce? <laughs> yeah, probably. Pain. It's a, the well, opposite. was a fluke. I had to make up for it somehow. Uncle Buck Shredded Jerky Chew? What, that is shoe shine? All right. We can wash down accidentally consume oh. shoe shine with some moon pies. You know the old saying? Pop on a huck hat. <laughs> I think they forgot a Y. And finally, <laughs> off my synthetic raccoon urine. Of course, you may say, Jesus, Scott, really? Synthetic raccoon piss? And to that, I say, don't worry. The fox one is real. Well, what? that's how I spend my sweetest day. Maybe next Valentine's Day we can play something a little more lewd. But in the meantime, I have to show you that yuck. it's okay to be alone in times like this. And just focus on yourself and your hobbies. And eventually, you'll find your right person. And it'll all make sense. Not me, though. I'll stick to ignorant. All right, so honestly, I'd say this was a funny video. I liked it. It was definitely... It, it was funny. I liked it. I, I didn't mind the review. I will say that, yeah, the Bass Pro section was definitely just to get the video past eight minutes, which, you know, I, I could see through. But, yeah, overall, this was uh, not a bad video. The editing was good, and I'd say it was actually kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoy, like, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.